Hey there fellows, Buddy Spike here. I have here quite a few rows of Humvees and I wanted to test which aircraft would penetrate the most number of rows after after I full throttle into them. I guess this could help us have a little comparison of how much momentum each aircraft carries at the end of the runway. Or maybe I'd need an excuse to blow shit up. Enjoy the video fellas. So let's start off with the lighter aircraft which is the propeller aircraft and this one is T-51 I believe. This one is a free aircraft and uh, I kind of want to don't have it full throttle otherwise it's going to be very hard to control as you can already see. I got to keep it on the ground so that I don't fly over those things and I'm already pumping and uh, yeah it, it's oh my god I don't okay yeah that that didn't go so well. Uh, you know what, I think I should start from a bit closer and a little slower, so that's under control. Yeah, that's not how I plan. No, no, no. Alright, this time I'm starting off a little closer, and uh, I'm gonna try to stay in the center and on the ground this time. Let's see how it goes. Don't bounce, you better not bounce. Oh no, this is so wrong. This is so wrong. Yeah, this is Kamikaze now. Whoa, okay. So, let's see what we got here one row penetration hmm. now this wasn't exactly how I wanted but uh, but the plane just okay the plane just wants to wants to lift and it was very hard to keep it on the ground Let, let's try something with a little more weight so we got the T-45 Goshawk in the plane that just got released and uh, this one does have a damage model so this time I'll be able to keep the plane on the ground and uh, see how see how many rows does it penetrate and I'm gonna cut the power at the end for each aircraft now so the plane does not push itself using the engines at the end you know, so we are at 170 knots so which is pretty damn fast I think the wheels should probably have popped out at this point okay the moment of truth is near we are about 230 knots and cutting power and boom wow okay now we're getting something so Two rows, okay, okay, I see some progress here. I see a pattern here. Whoa, oh boy. <laughs> okay, the after explosions are just crazy. The third row is undamaged. It's I think it's pretty clear. Let's let's get something even heavier. Okay, so we got F fifteen C and uh, I'm going full throttle. Now I'm gonna have the flaps up so that the plane does not want to lift itself when uh, when it reaches high speed and boy this plane is fast. So the flaps are up. What about uh, 150 knots already? Not bad. And uh, soon the tires are popped. Yeah, this plane the tires would pop after 200 knots. So now I'm kind of on rollerblades. And the motor truth is near. Three, two, one. Ooh, damn! Wow, that is that is some explosion. Okay. What? No way. All the four rows have exploded oh man this is a big one you know what I'm gonna need more rows alright I've added two more rows let's see how this goes alright the wheels have popped and we're very close in okay three two one throttle down and let's see holy moly okay okay let's see what we got well 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 so one two three four five six at the sixth row the the plane could not penetrate anymore and uh, yeah that is that is pretty damn heavy whoa okay there there's still after explosions going on and yeah it is it is crazy so this time I'm in the SU-33 and uh, just to be safe I added another row so now we got seven rows so going full throttle now okay I'm gonna have the flaps up yeah that's that's not how we go so let's see at what speed does the tires pop for this aircraft we are at two, over 200 knots. Oh, the plane wants to lift. Oh no, you're not going anywhere. Oh no, 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 no. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Okay, that is that is so bad. Gotta just trim this time in order to not let the plane fly off. 260, 270. You're gonna reach almost 300 and throttle down. Boom. 300 knots to zero. And how many rows did I manage to get? Oh, six rows. I would say almost the same as the F-15C. So, oh boy. Okay, so 
six rows it can penetrate it can penetrate five rows and the six rows just stop the plane let me get something even heavier all right my estimation is with this aircraft i might need to add one more row but let's see what happens i'm just gonna raise a flap and full throttle oh boy okay okay and uh and yeah i actually i got one more aircraft for you but let's see how this one goes first just gonna change the field of view zoom in a little okay i hope the plane does not does not start to fly i need to keep it on the ground and boy i have a 200 knots and the tires are still intact which is pretty cool and let's see how this goes and boom okay okay uh, all right this is uh this is interesting this is very interesting the plane came from that side and it damaged the plane and damaged the Humvees at the back. What just happened? You know what? I'm not satisfied. I need to go another round. Alright, the moment of truth is near. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna push forward. And alright, now things are starting to make some sense. And what's the result? Oh, the result is quite unexpected. We got two clean rows. Less damage than the than the SU-33 and F-16, I believe. You know what? I'm gonna fully load this aircraft and then see what the result is. See if there's any difference. Oh boy. 42,000 pounds, people. This baby is fully loaded. Let's see if it makes any difference in the result. Flaps up and full throttle. Alright, what about 170 knots? 190. And... Hit it. Okay, that was, uh, that was pretty big as well. Ah still we got two absolutely clean rows no damage you know what i'm thinking the momentum may have been still lower than the other aircraft because the other aircraft were just really fast and their speed helped them penetrate oh boy the speed helped them penetrate through the rows yeah i'm starting to feel that might be the reason and boy these explosions look so damn cool all right now for the final plane guys i'll be honest with you i have not tried this I don't even know if this plane has a damaged model, but well, let's see. Let's just see what happens. 137, 140 knots. I think we're gonna, we're gonna reach at about uh, 160 knots, and then kaboom. 160. We're going above 160, and okay, I'm going a little out of control. Boom. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Three rows. That's all. The F-15 and the Su-33 were quite fast, and I guess that kind of helped them penetrate through the rows so yeah there you have it guys so now these are all the aircrafts I had if I had the other paver full fidelity aircrafts I would have tried them but sadly this is all I got maybe if someone want to help me for the next video uh, using their paver add-ons you can contact me on discord so that's it for now thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one buddy's bike out